name's Maxine Davis and I live here in Swansea and I've been coming to Kailas Outreach um, now for about 18 months. Um, they mentioned about um, a lady called Danielle Roberts and said, would any of us like to do any computer, learn computer skills or um, iPad and see how, you know, how far advanced we can become? I'm Lindsay Hodgkins. I'm a support worker with Kailas outreach in Swansea. Um, we deal with anyone who's homeless, threatened with homelessness or trying to prevent homelessness. Maxine first contacted us in 2012 um, when she was experiencing difficulties with benefits. So we helped her maximise her benefits. Since then we've also dealt with um, debt issues and emotional issues that she's had during quite a dark period. Regarding the digital inclusion, she was one of the first clients that came along to get involved with it. Since then, I believe she's bought an iPad. She's come in and told us about contacting family and friends, um, and she's now got additional support group is, is amazing. Coming down here just made such a big difference because Danielle's spending time setting up um, different web pages. Um, I'm now on online banking, um, do um, housekeeping all on there. Um, I've got the Facebook more updated, we're more uploading um, pictures, um, met new friends. Um, it's, it's just been totally amazing with the difference. I've even now gone on Skype um, to see the first time when my family, not seen them for about seven years since I've moved around quite a few times in the UK. And that first experience with my, my cousin's daughter on the screen and my cousin walking in the room. So because I've known um, in Swansea for having such a fantastic sense of humour, I decided to dress all up in a bright colour. So I've got like a feathered bow on and a bright pink hat. And the, the cousin walked in and she, she nearly lost her balance because she just couldn't believe that it was me. If you're on the phone telling somebody how much you've moved on, if, you, you know, if you've got mental health issues and you're suffering from depression, different things, and I'm coming to these places, but when you're actually on the screen, and to see their faces, she actually knew then how much I'd moved on. She was absolutely speechless and that was that feeling was just totally amazing. Mm -hmm. I found out in um, two years ago that I was diabetic, uh, diabetic type 2 and then it was sort of with the problem trying to lose weight and with my depression I was um, suffering from. Um, and then we've coming down with um, Danielle helping me get set up, one, putting the apps on. And now I've actually got it all set up on the computer and on the iPad for the app for the Weight Watchers. Because it's like saving, it saves all the information and once and weighed once a week. Um, the way that it's going now, I might even, it's coming close to coming off my diabetes tablets. I wouldn't have been able to have done that before, not knowing, because my other friend said, you know, you can put all these apps on. And it's just been amazing coming here because Danielle's shown me so many things things I couldn't do. And I found some old pictures of myself and I was absolutely so taken back. There was one in a flat when I lived in England and I says, I don't know who on earth that was, it was him standing in my lounge. When I looked again, it was myself. Now I can save a lot of old pictures and when if I am having a bad day with depression, I can just switch that on, flick through and think, well, that's how it was, but I'm not going back there. It's me proving that, you know, that I want to move on and be strong and maybe go off now, what I've learned here, to help lots of other people in their lives.